Wish stock analysis, guys. Is Wish the next big short squeeze play? Okay, guys, so let's jump right into the video here. So I've got another potential short squeeze play, okay? I've been watching um, Context Logic, ticker symbol WISH, for some time now. And I've seen a couple pretty big uh, social media influencers, okay? The Minx of Wall Street, um, Chris Johnson over at Wealth Squad. They just recently disclosed some pretty big um, positions on Wish stock. So I kind of said to myself, hmm, is there something here? that I'm not seeing. So we're going to jump into that guys. We're going to kind of talk a little bit about the uh, Wish platform. Is this a good um, stock to buy or not and whether a potential short squeeze can happen. We're also going to cover some technical and fundamental analysis in the video as well. So if you guys uh, enjoy my content, be sure to smash the subscribe button and smash the like button as well. So let's get right into it. So starting off from a technical standpoint, we're taking a look at the chart here. Uh, this stock has absolutely been crushed year to date. Okay, Wish stock is down 65% and now it's below $10 okay it's in the penny stock range of like you know under $10 5 to $10 stock so what's going on here so first thing I like to do and take a look at the company guys we're gonna dig into the latest quarterly report and give you guys an overview of what's actually going on I know a lot of people are trading this stock based on the huge short interest and while that's true I like to take a, a fundamental standpoint to see exactly why the stock is going down so much what's exactly going on with the platform so if you guys aren't familiar with Wish, okay, Wish is a super, super big e-commerce website. I'll give you guys a couple of metrics. Okay, last year they did 2.5 billion in revenue. Um, 2020 had over 107 million users uh, with 550 merchant partners, partners and 50,000 Wish partners. And this uh, the business is active in 100 countries. So to give you guys a quick preview of what it looks like, if you guys haven't signed up for the platform, I'm just going to dig into it real quickly and give you guys kind of my quick thoughts. Okay, so here we are in my Wish account. Okay, so basically right off the bat, uh, using this site, it looks kind of like the Western version of Al AliExpress. Okay, AliExpress is basically the retail version of Alibaba. Um, looking at a lot of these products, it looks like a lot of these products are sourced from China. Okay, so it just looks like they've taken that business model and replicated. But like I said, the, the site makes, you know, made a billion, over a billion dollars, over two billion dollars in 2020. Um, you know, all the metrics or key metrics are going up. As we know, e-commerce businesses tend to do really, really well. If we take a look at Amazon, a prime example of how e-commerce is going to continue to grow and grow and grow in the future. So now let's take a look. You guys can sign up for your account as well. If you guys are interested in signing up for a Wish account, I'll provide a link in the description below. But it looks like this company is changing a bit of things, okay? The prices on here are very cheap. They sell lots of cheap different items and they sell lots of different items in bulk so it just kind of seems like a nice option uh, it looks like the Ali like I said it looks like the Western version of Aliexpress um, you can save a lot of money using this site uh, you know it's an alternative to Amazon and eBay things like that so heading into the latest quarterly report okay this is where I like to get a good idea of what's actually going on with the company why maybe the stock's crashing and we're going to talk about the short squeeze so basically uh, in the latest Q2 they did 656 million in revenue Okay, which is pretty solid. Okay, now net losses are okay, okay are all racking up, so they lost a hundred and eleven million dollars. Okay, so probably one of the reasons why the stock is being uh, beat down so much is that some of their key metrics are decreasing. Okay, so core marketplace revenue decreased thirty two percent, active buyers decreased forty four percent. So we can attribute a lot of this, okay, basically to the openings of the lockdown. Okay, a lot of people were forced uh, online. I think. And I think we saw in Q2, we saw a lot of businesses uh, see some of their key metrics in terms of e-commerce sites kind of decline. Amazon, you know, had a huge drop after they were posted their um, latest quarterly report. Okay, the stock actually fell off a cliff. I think it dropped as much as 10%. So um, if Amazon's going to drop 10% for Q2, we can expect a lot of these e-commerce stocks to sell off. So I'm not too surprised here. I'm pretty sure Wish had some record numbers during the pandemic. Now people are outside, they're going to malls more, so um, there's more options. But the good news is, is that they are still doing, okay, they are still doing some pretty good um, numbers in terms of monthly active users. They had nine, 90 million active users, okay, so that, that's pretty substantial, guys, almost doing 100 million in active users, so I think the potential is there. So now let's take a look at uh, some of these uh, metrics and things like that. We're going to take a look at uh, key numbers like revenue and things like that. 
So, okay, in the first six months, even though things decline quarterly over the first six months, we look at the first six months of 2020, first six months of 2021, things are at, numbers are actually up. So there is, I think, some promise here. Wish is definitely... In. Okay, so moving on to the short interest. So this is website's called shortsqueeze.com. So according to shortsqueeze.com, the short interest is around 8% of the float, okay? with around 31 million shares uh, short for this stock. So this stock has absolutely been getting crushed, okay? It's down below $10. It looks like uh, even though the short interest isn't as high as I was imagined, the stock is definitely selling off. A lot of key metrics are down. But what exactly are a lot of these social media influencers and what is some of the big money uh, seeing? Okay, I, I guess, you know, obviously, they're seeing some interesting things about Wish, so... Obviously, they had some bad numbers uh, in Q2, just like a lot of other e-commerce companies did. But I guess they're looking at the future, okay? 90 million users, uh, very low stock price, okay? Low uh, market cap of just $4 billion. And, you know, before that, uh, things were trending in the right uh, direction. So if you can take a look here at in terms of uh, revenue, revenue has been trending up annually, okay? Just uh, one bill, just over a billion in 2017. They doubled that in just three years. So uh, you know, even though there were some short-term hiccups, it looks like that this stock chart reminds me a lot of a stock uh, that I previously talked about on my channel. Uh, you guys have been following me for some years now. Back when I didn't have a lot of subscribers, I probably had like a couple hundred subscribers. Is Snap? Okay, Snap. Uh, so Snapchat ticker symbol S N A P. I think this is a type similar type of chart because I remember when Snaps first started out. Uh, the stock was trading at a ridiculous high price and it crashed all the way down to, I believe it was $5. Um, and now that obviously Snap stock has rebounded, I believe it's trading well over $50 now. So, um, you know, obviously we could see uh, a nice recovery here. Okay. At one point in February, uh, this stock was trading as high as $31. So I'm assuming a lot of the smart money is is betting on a rebound here because over time revenue has been trading up so let's take a look at some of those revenue projections in the future and if i think uh wish could be a potential five or ten bagger in a few months to a year okay so on seeking alpha here um actually they are projecting a decrease in revenue for wish in 2021 and a slight increase in 2022 so that's not really what we want to see out of this stock but there are some uh, positives in earnings per share. Okay, it looks like earnings per share are going to improve a lot. Uh, the projections are is that the company is getting closer and closer to profitability. So taking a look at this estimate, I would assume that Wish may become profitable by 2024. So basically, guys, what we're looking at here is a low, cheap uh, e-commerce play. Uh, the stock just debuted, um, you know, back in December 2020. Um, it's at the cheapest it's ever been. 7% uh, short, short interest, not a huge short interest there, but, you know, definitely, uh, you know, overextended, I would believe. Um, the RSI, if you take a look at the RSI here, it's at 37. So it has picked up a little bit. There was a little bit of, there was definitely support at $6. So if you got in at $6 or so, you're up a bit, but we'll see, you know, uh, this is definitely a stock that's on my radar. Usually when I see guys like Chris Johnson, Minks and Wall Street, usually when they uh, get into a stock, uh, this guy, Chris Johnson from uh, Well Squad, he also called amc stock when it was two dollars so anytime he talks about a cheap penny stock stock under ten dollars i'm definitely all ears so let me know what you guys think um i think there's some a risky play here but there could be some upside maybe we're just looking for a quick recovery to just get right back up to fourteen dollars uh this the stock was oversold a bit and we could just get like a quick 2x game but who knows maybe this chart ends up being Exactly like Snap was. Snap had a bunch of uh, problems in the past. They were bleeding through money. They figured things out. You know, the users are there. This company has 90 million users. Uh, we could see a recovery, uh, just like Snap's chart recovered, and then the, the stock could really, really run. And I'll explain, I'm going to show you guys a, a pattern of the stock chart for Snap to explain what, exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so to wrap things up, this is exactly what I was talking about. So Snap, a chat debuted at around $30-ish. Uh, bottomed out at about five bucks and then as you can see here wow it's trading as high as seventy dollars so could this be a similar pattern for uh wish we don't know but um the growth was there for snapchat they started to do really well uh looks like the growth is there for wish as well so we could see a if this if, if wish stock follows a similar pattern that snap did we could see a potential 10x 5 to 10x gains 
within maybe the next um, six months to a year or two. So that's it, guys. As I wrap my video up, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Let me know what you think about Wishshock. Really interesting company. I really like e-commerce stocks. I think they're really going to crush it uh, this decade. I think more and more people after the pandemic got used to buying things online, and I don't see those trends going away uh, forever. So a lot of people are more comfortable making purchases online. That's really bullish for these e-commerce stocks. So that's it. Until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care.